Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Robert Milberg of SatCube. Robert, thank you for joining me. This is the second time we've spoken, but what we have here today is your SatCube terminal and it's running live. Tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah, it's uh, very good conditions here in Amsterdam today to run live demos and show people how it actually works and how easy it is to set up. So if you hear in the background, it's the fences because it's kind of hot here today, it's summer. So right now today we're going live on, on Instat1 Flex system uh, and that means that you can access over 200 beams over, all over the world with this SatCube device. And this will, is very important for people who are not knowing where to go tomorrow. So they might and be in Africa one day and, and in, in Asia or in the US or Europe the next day. So this is a big thing for us at SatCube to be live on this uh, Flex network. Now, why is this uh, terminal so important? Who, who is it targeting and what sectors? What we see right now is that broadcasters are interested because they need to be flexible, they never know where the story hits, and they are sending teams. And then this is easy for use for journalists. They can have a broadband connectivity so they can send HD video back to their editorial desk. Then we have the, the first responders. We see a lot of catastrophes all over the world right now where they're flying in personnel for logistics, for help, for services, for healthcare and everything. And this is, is of course, important with the communication. And then we see a lot of interest from um, uh, civilian governmental use, border patrol, police authorities and so on. Now, the actual terminal itself, is this developed and built in-house or is it put together for you by a third party? Uh, this is our own design of the uh, flat array antenna that you see here and uh, all the major parts of the terminal is our, is our own design. So it's pretty much an, a, our development teams that have been working on this for three years to get this out. So I assume this is the first evolution of this terminal. I assume you're working on the next evolution of the terminal. What can we expect from that one? Well, it's always like we would like to have the same performance, but have it a small, even smaller as a form factor and uh, trying to make it um, also cheaper in the future. That's of course one of the goals, to, so more verticals can be interested in the terminal. Um, and we also see that on other bands we're looking at uh, KEA, we're also looking at the low flying, the new constellations. And how has it been received into the market? Well, people show a lot of interest so now it's important for us to show to give them the full solution to get together with our resellers and partners so they buy the terminal but also the airtime what is the service around the terminal that's is key right now so we see a lot of interest and finally um, you know you're trying to get the interest from resellers and the customers and, and and so on are there any specific target geographically that you're going to look at first well the US market is of is very important. I think that is key for us and also the European markets. That's where we start. But we are also looking at and working with uh, several resellers in the Asia region as well. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you.